Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to take you through the basics of DAX expression syntax, what it is, how you can write it, uh, not very detailed, but what this syntax is about and understand it. Let's see how it works. <music> Uh, DAX is uh, the data analysis expression language. This language is used in Power BI, it is used in Excel Power Pivot, it is used in SQL Server Analysis Services Tabular and uh, Azure Analysis Services. Uh, the way that this language works is a combination of multiple languages, uh, a little bit of T-SQL, a little bit of Excel formula and C sharp combined. It's not really coming from one single language. Uh, now, how you can write a DAX expression? Uh, you can write a DAX expression as a calculation, as a formula. And uh, there are three types of calculation that you can write with um, DAX uh, as an expression. One is a table, another is a column, calculated table or calculated column, and the other one is a measure. Uh, these three are of course different and this um, video is not enough to go through their differences. They are quite a lot, uh, quite a lot of differences. I have other videos explaining what is calculated column versus measure, go and check it out, or what is the usage of tables. Uh, but these are the three types of calculation you can write. You can also write DAX in a row level security uh, rule, which is normally an expression very similar to these calculations. But when it is used, um, it, have to it has to return a true or false value. It is a Boolean result, a logical expression. Uh, when you write DAX as a calculation, normally your expression always starts with an equal sign. For example, you might have a column, just to show you, uh, you might have a column uh, and this column might be equal to something, let's say one. Uh, everything after equal sign is your DAX expression. This can be a text value like this. Uh, or it can be uh, an expression which is 1 plus 2 or, or anything like that. When you use DAX as a calculation or expression, it comes after equal sign. There is also another way to write DAX, which we call it writing DAX as a query language. That is not very common. Uh, as a DAX developer, most of your time, perhaps more than 90% of your time, you are writing DAX as a calculation. However, there are situations that you can connect to the model using tools such as SQL Server Management Studio, DAX Studio, and write DAX as a query language. That is outside of what I'm going to explain here. I'm talking about DAX as a calculation. Uh, when you write as a DAX as a calculation, everything comes after equal sign. It can be a literal value like this. This is a valid expression. It can be uh, like a text value. Text values are normally inside double code. Uh, it can be an expression like this, one plus two or, or anything like that. Uh, and it can be a function call. For example, my DAX expression can be uh, a function call like this. Now. Uh, you can also use other columns in the table in your expression. For example, I can use a column such as birth date here. Uh, when you use other columns in your expression, they are coming inside a square bracket. Now, uh, you can point to a column by using that square bracket and column name inside that or you can also have the table name before it. In this case, the employee can come before the column name. If you are using that column within the same table that that column exists, you don't need the table name before that. But if, uh, if you are using it outside, then it is good to have it. Normally for better readability, it is good to have table name before the column name. Uh, and if your table has space in it, for example, here, you can see dim employee has a space in it or any special character, then that dim employee comes or, or the name of tables basically comes inside single code. Uh, that is for a special character. So column name inside uh, square brackets, table name before that. Um, and that is how you refer to a column in a table. 
if you want to refer to another calculated column or a measure that is uh, the same thing for measures the difference is that it is not recommended to have table names before that because you may move your measure from one table to another measure uh, to another table i have explained that in another video how that is going to work in a dax expression you also have operators operators are these for example one plus two plus is an operator that uh, actually uh, add two values together or for example i can have an operator like this reza as a text ampersand space as another text ampersand rad so what would be the result of this this would be reza space rad and here is the result so ampersand is a concatenation character however we have other characters that are different operators for example i can have uh, an expression like this one greater than two and let's say two less than three something like that so i can have two logical expression on the two side and this can work as an and if i want to mention or this can be the or we have other um, operators in the uh, logical operator area such as in for example i can say one in then i have a list of one two three for example which means if this value exists in these so there are different types of operators you can use in DAX. Also, you can write commentary in DAX, which means um, uh, like a part of code that you don't want to uh, to be executed for some explanation. For example, you started with two slash. For example, I can say um, checking if uh, value is in the list something like that this line of code does not execute it does not affect the performance or the res return result of this this is just for me as a developer to understand what i have done here if i want to have multi-line commentary i can put it inside slash star star slash anything that i put in the middle of this would be a commentary and uh, that's how it is going to work you can also define variables in dax to define a variable for example here is an example of a variable i'm just checking uh, for example here is a variable i defined a variable and this variable is taking a value like a function doing something the result of that variable is used here in another place uh, when when I use variables in a place that normally an output is required, for example, defining a column requires an output, I need a return as well to return that. And you can have multiple variables with defining multiple var. I have explained about variables in another video. Again, go and check down in the description below. All the links to these separate sections are in there. Finally, uh, the heart of a DAX expression is functions. Uh, there are functions that does different things. For example, here I used a function to get today's date. I used another function to uh, actually calculate the date difference between the higher date of the employee and today's date in years. Uh, functions are the heart of tax expression. You have to uh, learn how to work with functions. Fortunately, and, and that is the good thing about the DAX, is that it comes with this uh, little information here, for example, you can see that it tells me what this function is. It asks for three inputs and some explanation about what this returns. It might not be like fully enough to understand how that function works, but it is normally good enough to, to start with it. Of course, the Microsoft documentation would help to, to learn more about that. Uh, you have to spend a lot of time learning about different functions but one guide is that there are many functions categorized as tabular functions functions that returns a table and functions that are scalar functions that returns a single value there are few functions that are neither tabular nor scalar but those are not a major category functions are also categorized based on um like what they do for example date and time functions or functions that are parsing parent child hierarchies or relationship functions and things like that uh, one other thing about your dax editor in power bi is that you can uh, make it smaller or bigger using 
control and plus and minus in your keyboard or control and the wheel on your mouse holding the control and making it smaller or bigger would make it easier to read finally uh, when you write DAX in Power BI, there are some color codes here. You can see that different colors are provided. Uh, the light green is normally used for variables. The green itself for commentary. The blue is used for functions, for uh, reserved keywords such as year here is not really a function or return or var. Um, the purple is used for measures. This is a measure defined in another place, a red for text values, and black is almost anything else, which can be column names, table names, um, parentheses for functions, operators, literal values. Uh, this color coding can help you to read your code a little bit better. However, this color coding might be different in other, um, other tools that you write DAX expression in it. This is about Power BI that I explained. So in general, uh, learning a DAX expression in terms of basics is simple. It's just literals, the operators, um, operands, uh, variables, commentary, and things like that. The main part of learning about DAX is understanding in what, which context the DAX is running and learning about the functions. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you.